Hello everybody, my name is Dmar and welcome in. Now, if you are watching this video, you have probably gone through the process of trying to set up a capture card and it's just kind of annoying. You, you've set up uh, audio, you've set up video, and you've just, you've gone through everything, all the steps, and something's not working. Well, I'm going to try my best to help you. Now, today I'm using an NZXD capture card, that's what I use, but... Um, pretty much any capture card that you use, like probably the Elgato, maybe something that you got off Amazon or whatever, it should still work the same, hopefully. As long as it's an HDMI capture card where you plug it from your streaming PC to your gaming PC and you're trying to route um, like the video from your gaming PC over to your streaming PC, it should work, hopefully. But I'm going to go through the process that I did to set up my capture card and uh, hopefully it'll work for you. Okay, so starting out, I am using the NZXT capture card, like I said. Um, now, as you can see right here, I'm just going to show it on the screen before I actually like go into detail about how you're going to set this whole thing up. But uh, starting out, you have the HDMI, HDMI in, I, I'm pretty sure. So this middle port right here is HDMI in. That's what you're plugging your graphics card into. So you, you take one of the HDMI ports on the back of your graphics card from your computer, and you plug an HDMI cord into there and then you run it to the capture card and it plugs in in this middle port right here. Now, from there, you take a USB-C cord, which I think comes with the package, um, but if not, you can just take out a regular USB-C uh, to 3.0 uh, USB cord and plug that into your streaming PC. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I hope it does. But basically, once you have that set up, it's really easy. It's just plugging everything in, really. Uh, this third cord right here, that's HDMI out. You really don't need that unless you just like you don't have another way of displaying what you're capturing on your capture card. So if you want to monitor everything that you're capturing and you want to just put it like up on a monitor or a TV or something, um, you can do that. But I don't even use one. It's not necessary. Um, so you can skip that part if you want to. Uh, just one important thing to note about plugging everything in, and that is your USB-C cord. It's the one on the right, right here. The regular USB-C cord that comes with your capture card should be fine. Uh, the only thing to make sure that you pay attention to is where you're plugging it into. Uh, if you have a regular USB 3.0 port on your uh, streaming PC, you do not want to use that. Make sure you use USB 3.1 or 3.2. Uh, basically, they just allow you to get above 720p. If you use a regular USB 3.0 port, it's not going to let you do that. So now I'm going to assume that you guys have everything plugged in and you're ready to send your video from your capture card over to your streaming PC from your gaming PC. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is click sources, click this little plus icon right here, then go to video capture device, click add source. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as video capture device just because that's what it is. Um, click add source. And then you're going to have a little drop down tab right here. Now, this should be the same for regular OBS. I'm using Streamlabs OBS right now, but you can use OBS and it should work the same way. Click the drop down tab and then click uh, NZXT signal HD 60 video. Or if you're using a different uh, capture card, just click on whichever one would be yours. So I'm going to click that. And then it pops up with everything that I have going on from my gaming PC right here. Now, you do need to make sure one other thing is in check. You want to scroll down here and then make sure this says capture audio only right here for audio output mode. Then click use custom audio device and then change this to your capture card. And then you should be fine as far as the whole video goes, but you still need to change some audio settings because uh, as far as mine went, I wasn't actually able to get audio out of my capture card at first, and I actually had to change some more display settings in my settings of just like regular windows. So what I'm going to do next is go to display settings and show you how to do that. Now, there's only really one thing to make sure that you have set for this, and that is duplicate these displays. If it's not, just go ahead and change it to that and you should be good. And then go and uh, just look at these, make sure it says 1920 by 1080, or if you're using the 4K version, click on like... 4K or whatever it is. Um, landscape is what I'm using on my gaming PC, so I have that selected. And then like scale 100%, all that should be right. Now, once you do that, go back to home and then go to sound. Uh, once you have sound open, make sure your main headphones are selected and then scroll down and find more sound settings. Now, for more sound settings, uh, make sure that 
your regular speakers are selected in the playback tab. Uh, that should already be selected. You should be fine as far as that goes. And click on recording. Uh, your regular microphone should be popping up here. Uh, but what you want to find is stereo mix. Now you might have to right click something and click show disabled devices. Mine already has that, so I'm good. Uh, but once you right click this, once you find stereo click or stereo mix, uh, right click it and make sure it's set as your default, uh, your default device. Um, I already have it set, so I, I don't see it right here, but there should be a little button right above here that says set as default device. Go ahead and click it. Once you do that, click on properties and then go to the listen tab. Uh, make sure it says listen to this device. Make sure you click that pops up blue and then click on the drop down menu and make sure it has your capture card selected. Once you do that, you can click apply and OK and then just exit out of all that. And then now what we have to do is head over to the streaming PC, uh, the PC that you're sending the signal to the capture card with. Uh, go to that and then we have to set up some more audio stuff on there. So heading back on over to our streaming PC, I just have my regular uh, display pulled up. Nothing's really running except for like a few things on the bottom, but none of that matters. What we need to do is go into our sound settings. So right click this little sound icon in the bottom right hand corner uh, and then click sounds. Once that pulls up, go ahead and click on recording and then click on your HDMI device. Now it says ready um, for me, but it, it might say that I'm not really sure, but go ahead and right click on it uh, and then click listen. And make sure that this does not say listen to this device. If it does say that for you, all it's going to do is just make uh, your gaming PC audio. It's just going to like play in a loop and you're going to hear it several times. So you don't really want to have that click. That's just going to be annoying once again. So click OK and then just click OK and exit out of all that. And you should be fine as far as that goes. Now I'm going to pull back my Streamlabs tab. You can see I have my uh, YouTube stuff pulled up right here. So I'm just going to make sure that uh, whenever I like scroll down here and I uh, monitor my video capture device audio, um, I'm gonna make sure it's playing through there. So if I click on play, it's just to kind of prove to you guys like it is picking up on the audio from my gaming PC. Now it's a little quiet. Um, I can go in and add like a gain filter if I need to, but everything should be working once you, if you follow all these steps, Everything should be in place. Um, and then you can just go and uh, use this uh, use this scene as just like a regular scene. You can add like your, uh, your camera and if you wanna add like a text chat or whatever, like you can do all that, but this is just how you get the regular uh, capture card to display on your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS or your just your recording or streaming software. So uh, that should be it guys. Um, let me see if I can pull myself up here. There we go. Well, that's me. But let me see. That's me. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, that should be everything for this video. Uh, if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section. I am more than happy to help out and make another video if I need to. But these were some problems that I experienced while trying to set up my capture card. And I'm, I'm kind of bad at like explaining them. But like it's all it all makes sense to me now. Uh, so Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. Like I say, if you have any more questions, just put in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you out. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and hope you can get it working.